Donald Trump hasn't to overturn the ruling of a so-called federal judge in Seattle who temporarily halted his travel ban on seven Muslim-majority countries and the suspension of refugee admission. In a series of tweets early in the morning after Friday's ruling by the Seattle judge James Robart, the president wrote, The opinion of this so-called judge, which essentially takes law enforcement away from our country, is ridiculous and will be overturned. Trump who for the first time as president was spending the weekend away from the White House, at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida, wrote with characteristic typographical errors, when a country is no longer able to say who can, and who cannot, come in and out, especially for reasons of safety and security big trouble. He added, interesting that certain Middle Eastern countries agree with the ban. They know if certain people are allowed in its death and destruction. Trump again used the word ban to describe his order. White House aides this week contested the use of the term. On Saturday morning, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, said it would comply with Robart's order. In accordance with the judge's ruling, DHS has suspended any and all actions implementing the affected sections of the executive order, said Acting Press Secretary Gillian Christensen. DHS personnel will resume inspection of travelers in accordance with standard policy and procedure. Christensen also said the Justice Department intended to counter by filing an emergency stay of Trump's order, calling it lawful and appropriate. Signed last week, the executive order suspended all refugee admissions for 120 days and from Syria indefinitely, and placed time-limited holds on the admission of travelers from seven countries Iraq, Syria, Iran, Yemen, Sudan, Libya, and Somalia which are mostly Muslim. The White House and Justice Department have argued that the order is necessary for national security. The order also provided for preference to people from religious minorities in those countries, and Trump said in an interview he would give Christians priority as refugees. Lawsuits were mounted by the American Civil Liberties Union and other parties around the question of whether the ban was unconstitutional as an infringement of religious freedom. A succession of rulings against the government followed. Airport authorities nonetheless continued to hold or bar travelers from the affected countries last weekend, leading to charges that the Trump White House was seeking to disregard court rulings. Such charges may be repeated in light of Trump's promise to overturn Robart's opinion. Robert, who was appointed by George W. Bush, granted a temporary restraining order after hearing arguments from Washington State and Minnesota that the president's order unlawfully discriminated against Muslims and caused unreasonable harm. The White House said it would appeal against the order, which it first called outrageous before issuing an updated statement which did not feature that word. The president's order is intended to protect the homeland and he has the constitutional authority and responsibility to protect the American people, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said. Nonetheless, Customs and Border Protection, CBP, informed U.S. airlines on Friday night that they should allow travelers from the affected countries with valid visas who had been barred under the order to board flights to the U.S. The order has caused logistical and political chaos and the roles of Trump's senior aide Steve Bannon and policy chief Stephen Miller in its writing and rollout have been under intense scrutiny. Trump's Republican Party has backed the order, though some senior figures have opposed it or criticized its implementation. Reaction worldwide has been almost unanimously critical. On Friday a Justice Department official said 100,000 visas had been revoked under the ban. State Department figures put the number at 60,000. Asked about the discrepancy, Spicer said, I'll have to get back to you on that, on that. I don't have all the details right now. Also on Friday, a federal judge in Massachusetts declined to extend a temporary stay against the order issued last week, after expressing skepticism about arguments that the ban represented religious discrimination. But in Seattle, the Attorney General of Washington State, Bob Ferguson, told reporters outside the courtroom, we are a nation of laws. Not even the president can violate the Constitution. No one is above the law, not even the president. This decision shuts down the executive order immediately shuts it down. That relief is immediate, happens right now. That's the bottom line. A group of volunteer lawyers, 
calling themselves Dulles Justice after their campaign to help travelers at Dulles Airport in Virginia, hailed the decision on Saturday. For now, this should mean a safe return home for countless travelers from around the world, from legal permanent residents to visa holders, wrote attorney Haley Corman. And for refugees fleeing persecution or violence, it should mean we'll be able to welcome them to this great country. The White House has already announced their intention to counter this order with a request for an emergency stay. We, too, have no intention of backing down.